Have you ever wanted to add bloom effects to your scenes in Blender, but found that the options were limited or even missing? Well, I've got great news for you. In Blender 2.8 through 4.1, we had the first version of Eevee. Adding Bloom was really straightforward. You could enable it directly in the render settings and tweak its properties. However, in newer versions like Blender 4.2 and onwards, Eevee Next came out and that changed things. And that's why I created this powerful add-on to bring back the ability to add Bloom effects with just one click. Now with Blender 4.4, you can enjoy even better performance and features, all while maintaining that stunning glow effect you love. My updated Add Bloom add-on 1.3 is here to make your life easier whether you're using EV or Cycles. Here's how it works. Simply go and download the add-on from the link in the description, install it by dragging and dropping the file into Blender, and if you have an older version of my add-on, make sure you uninstall it before adding the new one. Then simply go to this drop-down, install from disk, downloads, add Bloom, and you will find this over in your render properties. Click the Add Glare node, and voila, the Glare node is added to your compositor setup all ready for you to tweak. Plus, I've included a handy operator to switch your viewport shading to rendered mode with the compositor automatically enabled for you. And do you need more control? This update includes additional settings that weren't here before and new in Blender 4.4. Highlighting threshold smoothness and maximum intensity are there. Strength, saturation and tint color are also there as well. And of course, you can still adjust the threshold and the size to get that perfect bloom effect. So what's new in this version? Well, it's been optimized for Blender 4.4. We've got improved control and additional controls for fine tuning your bloom effect. Whether you're working in the new EV Next or Cycles, this add-on delivers consistent results across both render engines. And if you want to learn how to create custom add-ons like this, do check out my Python course in the description. Until the end of March, it's 50% off. This really helps support the channel, so thank you so much. Oh, and whilst I'm here, I've also remastered two courses that I worked on with Erin on procedural materials and geometry nodes for beginners. Links in the descriptions for those, and they're 66% off until the end of March as well. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy adding bloom effects to your scenes with this new update. And let me know if you'd like any further adjustments or additional details to include. Finally, thank you to Roman Chagri Polovinkin for their Street of Some City, a 3D model available from Sketchfab, and I've popped the link in the description for that as well. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.